Hey guys, Bob Ross here, and today what I would like to do is address a topic that I think that many of us, and maybe especially those of you who are involved in the early stages of improvisation, uh, deal with, and that is the topic of the practice material being transferred into performance material. So when you practice, there's some common things that you usually do when you work on things such as scales, where you run three note groupings, four note groupings, you do uh, thirds, fourths, fifths, and so on, and you do different uh, variations of that. So for example, if you use thirds, you might do an ascending and then a descending, then ascending, descending, and then descending, ascending pattern. And I actually have a video, if you're not too sure what I'm talking about there, called The Four Directions that you can find here on my YouTube channel. But what I really remember um, from all, you know, my, my practice and development, what I remember is I came across something that John Abercrombie was using in his improvisation. And it, it was an instructional video where he was demonstrating the use of thirds through a tune. So what I would like to do in this video is start to introduce some ideas on how to take those patterns that you practice most likely on a regular basis and apply it to the improvisational side of your playing. So with that, let's get started. All right, so most of us are used to uh, using uh, thirds in our practice. Those are ascending thirds that I'm using, even on the way back down. I'm still using a lower note going to a higher note, so it is still an ascending third pattern. I have a D drone in the background, just so I don't have to think about a lot of harmonic material when trying this in the beginning. The more uh, focused that you can be, the more limited in um, the items that you're trying to focus on, the better that you can uh, acquire these ideas and work these concepts out. So I'm just focusing on D major and using ascending thirds. Right, guys so hopefully that helped uh, this is part one of a, a short mini series of lessons I'm going to do discussing these uh, the topic of using patterns in an improvisational uh, way so I hope that you found this helpful if so please don't forget to share thanks again for your support don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week for another technique Tuesday lesson